It is aware of reports indicating that as a result of the strike and fire that was ignited, several civilians in the area were harmed. The incident is under review. Sitting is open. The UN's highest court has ordered Israel to halt the Rafah offensive, but has no power to enforce the ruling. And Israel giving no sign it will comply, saying hostages are being held in Rafah. We will not stop fighting for their freedom. On Sunday, Hamas fired rockets towards central... Yeah, but you're not fighting. You're fucking taking your anger and your fucking cowardice on civilian... Uh, on civilian uh, 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 neighborhoods. You are a coward by nature. Your history tells you you are people who are cowards. You have never accomplished shit. What do you do? You open the Red Sea? We don't have no proof of that, right? We don't have no proof of that bullshit. Israel for the first time in four months. With sirens blaring in Tel Aviv, the IDF says the rockets came from Rafa. Meanwhile, further up the coast, new questions about the safety of U.S. service personnel. Uh, After four that. small army boats broke their moorings in heavy <laughs> seas, washing up in Israel and Gaza. The ships were delivering aid through an American-built temporary pier. U.S. Central Command saying no injuries have been reported and the pier remains fully functional. But three U.S. personnel did suffer non-combat injuries last week, the Pentagon says. One seriously wounded. And you can probably hear the wind howling here in southern Israel. That's what caused those ships to actually break off their moorings. If I step to the side here, you can see in the foreground. That's some embarrassing shit. We had to build a port because we could not force Israel to open the crossing for us to bring food to the Palestinian people. Imagine this relationship that we have um, with Israel. What kind of relationship is it? I mean, who's... Who, who's, who's the pimp? Who's being pimped? Israel is a client state. We support everything. Did you know in Israel they have free health care? Free education, university education, free everything. A matter of fact, the majority of those people who are so-called Israeli citizens from the United States and Europe, they go there for the free uh, uh, once a year to get free dental, free ear uh, checkups. They go there to get uh, free medical care. I call them uh, me uh, uh, medical uh, citizens. You understand? If you was in the United States and you wanted to fix your teeth, sometimes it costs you thousands of dollars. You go to Israel, it's free because you're an Israeli citizen, and we send $4 billion a year, so that should take care of the bills. Now, last night I was, uh, uh, it was late, and, and I was wondering... Why wh Why did it happen Friday evening? Why? You have to understand the, the mindset of, of, of Bibi, whatever the fuck his name is. It's not his real name anyway. Bibi Netanyahu. He knows that the American uh, 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 media uh, is off on the weekend. They call it the Friday drops. Most people who want some scandalous shit out, they drop it on a Friday night. So people, as little as possible, will see it. By the time Monday come, it will be an old story. Now, before yesterday, Israel suffered a big loss in the battlefield. The resistant Palestinian resistance, they destroyed, I don't know, like 10, 20 tanks. They, I don't know how many they killed and how many they have as prisoners. And they were showing us dragging them dead in the tunnels. So Israel, instead of taking the war to these guys, which they can't, because these guys are underground, it will do it rather punish the civilian population. That's what a bully does. That's what a coward does. Instead of fighting the person you have an issue with, you go to the family, to the women, to the children. They've been doing this from day one. Look at the numbers of those killed. Those killed are almost, I know you guys are tired of me saying the same thing all the time, but this is serious shit. You understand? All right, let's look at the news here because I don't want to start blah, blah, blah and forget about everything. Ready? Hey, Clever, what's up, buddy? <laughs> How are you? Where you been, man? I started early, man. How you been? Chilly? Okay, we're going to start looking at some of the headlines uh, that happened. As you noticed, like yesterday, that Israel just 
just started killing human beings like on tens. <laughs> they threw a, a 2,000 bomb, which is a ton, two tons of bombs on a fucking tent city that was supposed to be a safe zone or designated by them to be safe. You understand? It's fucking crazy, man. Anyway, what's up, Clover? How you doing, brother? Anyway, let's look at some of the headlines and some of the stuff here. You know, I'm such a fucking... I'm not one of the most... Uh... Let's share the screen, right? Is it? Oh, here we go. Today, we're going to talk about the ADL, about the lies of anti-Semitism in the United States. And we're going to talk about um, APAC. And I'm going to show you how many politicians are fucking being uh, owned by APAC. Uh, this is APAC is a Jewish uh, lobbying group in in, uh, in, in Washington, D.C. Oh, do we have a lag? I don't know. I think we have a lag. Do we? Hello? Oh, do we have a lag? I don't know. I think we have a lag. Do we? We don't have a lag. Because I asked you that a long time ago. I don't know where you are. All right. Give me if you can. All right. Here we go. I don't have this in order, but this is the headlines. We're going to go through the headlines to see how the media covered them. Where am I? Okay. I think we have a lot, uh, cuz. Okay. All right, there I am. You know, we could all see that shit, right? Okay, where am I? Okay. Okay, this is the... Here we go. Okay, Israel Netanyahu says, Rafa strike went tragically wrong and will be investigated. <laughs> How many investigate? There's 40,000 people dead. How many tragic uh, incidents has happened or went wrong because the the, uh, the IOF uh, um, blew up, killed people by mistakes? I mean, how many mistakes are you allowed to have? How, I mean, after 1,000 people, is that good? You know what I'm saying? How many mistakes are you allowed to have? Oh, you're making dinner. Okay. Good. Enjoy your dinner, man. You understand? So let's look at the headline here. Let's read it. Wait. It's going to read the top here. Okay. You know, you could tell I'm not such. I'm not the. Uh, Jerusalem, Reuters. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said on Monday, Monday, Oh, oh, yeah, Monday, today's Monday. Monday, oh, yesterday was Sunday. I'm such an idiot. Monday, an airstrike in the area of Rafa in southern Gaza that killed dozens of Palestinians was not intended to cause civilian casualty and will be investigated. Okay, you, you shot 12 rockets and you threw two ton, uh, two one ton bombs in an area where there's, I mean, of course, there's going to be people killed. Why do you need to lie, man? In Rafa, we already evacuated about 1 million non-combatants. Yeah, they've, you killed the ones who evacuated. Residents, and despite, and despite our utmost effort not to harm non-combatants, something unfortunately went tragically wrong, he said, in a speech in Parliament that was interrupted by Sharon from opposition lawmakers. That's why we the Arab lawmakers. <laughs> we are investigating the incident. How many investigations are you going to have? How many, huh? How many investigations are you allowed to, to, to take place? Incident and we'll reach a conclusion because this is our policy. Wow. You killed those eight people. You shot them three times. You know, those people were delivering eight food. What happened to that investigation? Reporting, well, then, okay, this is a reporter. Who cares? Who cares, right? Let me give it this. 
right? And we go back. Here I, oh, oh, did I get rid of something good? Okay. All right. Well, that's another uh, another mistake by the Israeli army, and you know it's okay to make mistakes, you know. I guess by Israeli standard, is it's every day that every two weeks they killed um they kill two or three hundred every day. So after a while, it just becomes oops, my bag. All right, here we go. Let's read more headline, and we go. Let's go through the headlines so to get an idea what's going on in the world since I'm. A, there we go. Yep. Let me get out of the way, right? All right, let's look at the headline, guys. Ready? Don't do it. All right, Israeli forces kill Egyptian soldiers near Rafah. There was a little, uh, a bit of a small clash between Egyptian soldiers and Israeli soldiers, and an, an Egyptian was killed. An Egyptian soldier was killed in Rafah, outside of Rafah. At least 40 killed in Rafah massacre. World Court orders Israel to halt military operation in Rafah. Well, they're not listening, they just killed 50 people. Eight trucks into Gaza after weeks. That's what they do. They they, they let them starve until they near until they start dying. Then they have a burst of a couple of trucks in there. Then those uh, uh, scumbag uh, um, settlers will go down. They burn the whole fucking truck and, and almost kill three uh, drivers. IDF negotiators said there will be no hostage deal. See, what's going on about these hostages? Israel does the well, not Israel. Netanyahu does not want these hostages. He's been playing this game of sending these people week after week to negotiate and negotiate. Then Israel made an offer, hoping that uh, Hamas will bluff. Well, I mean, will 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 uh, refuse it. So once the, uh, the United States and Egypt and Qatar and Israel negotiated this offer. They send it to Hamas. Hamas said, okay, we'll take it. You know who said no? Netanyahu. Most of the hostages, most of the hostages are dead. Let me repeat this again so you can get in your head. Most of the Jewish hostages in Gaza are dead. They have been killed by Israeli Jewish carpet bombing. They are killing their own hostages. Because he does you think he wants him back? You know how many times they uh, they went back and forth. The Israeli negotiators. It's a little game he plays for public consumption, and he, he tried to wear down the, the Hamas. He tried to wear them down by negotiating, negotiating, negotiating. 